Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at my first ever order of um, Masters of the Universe Classics figures. And um, I'm really kicking myself for um, sitting on the fence for so long on these figures because once I got them in hand, all I gotta say is they are freaking awesome. And uh, I should never have waited for so long because now I'm uh, missing a couple of the key characters from um, the first episode and they're just asking some seriously crazy prices in the um, aftermarket on eBay. Um, so I've got um, my first order of nine uh, from a really awesome seller on eBay called Action Figure Vault 77. Um, and I really do need to give him a shout out because his service, his, oh, everything was second to none. So um, I can't uh, recommend him enough and his prices were pretty good so all up I think I got these guys on average between yeah about $35 each um, which isn't um, cheap um, but isn't uh, crazy like some of the figures I'll mention later um, and they really do uh, my camera's probably uh, not going to be able to do them much justice but they are awesome and they come loaded with accessories um, so I can totally understand why Hasbro is going down the 6 to 7 inch um, figure range for Star Wars because that's what Star Wars totally needs to sort of reinvigorate that uh, action figure line for, for them. Um, Man at Arms comes with, um, just to go through some of the accessories, you know, it comes with a separate head sculpt, all the weapons, he's got his big Whip uh, sword there, and he's got the weapons mounted on the back. Um, the paintwork um, on him is pretty good. Um, there are a few bits um, here and there that aren't too flash, but um, overall, it's awesome. Um, Battle Cat is pretty damn good too. I'll just give you a quick look at his head, um, and he is pretty damn awesome too. He man, oh, all of these figures I pretty much got as the reissue figures, um, not their first run. So I think uh, most of them didn't have too many differences, but He Man did have some work done on him. Um, they fixed up his shoulders and the stone sort of red, <laughs> red eye look that he had, uh, which was good. Um, Shira and Evelyn, um, I have to say, are my first ever female figures that I've ever <laughs> bought in my life um, so uh, I think I'm crossing a line there <laughs> and uh, I'm definitely looking for Teela she is one of the figures that I'm missing and the, the prices are just through the roof they're asking a hundred dollars a hundred and fifty dollars even for for Teela um, which is pretty crazy so I'm, I'm hunting and um, I don't know if I'm going to be uh, pushing that high uh, I don't think I, I can to be honest uh, Skeletor, the, oh, the staff is really nice um, and the paint work um, again in general all up is pretty awesome um, his, the sort of greenish tinge on his face isn't probably movie accurate and he does have um, uh, he probably can't see it on the camera, he does have red eyes in there which um, he didn't have in the, the 80's cartoon but I don't really mind um, he looks pretty freaking awesome um, his accessories, I think he's pretty much holding all he had, apart from his sword at the top. Evelyn came, um, I can't even remember what this thing is called, um, with the bent wing there that I can sort of bend back out and straighten it. Um, her skin's a little bit yellowy, more yellow than I remember, but um, overall she's still pretty cool. Trapjaw is one of the best. Um, he comes with all of his little attachments on his that you can change over on his arm it even actually comes out with a, a separate arm altogether and a separate head so you can really um, uh, change him up if uh, if you want to um, and that's pretty cool Merman um, was one of the key characters as well that I needed to have and he's got his sword at the back um, and he does come with a separate Head sculpt, which uh, to me looks a little bit 
too goofy, so um, I'll stick with the other one. And Hordak, um, I think probably has the most detailed and best paint application. Um, it comes with a little bat creature thing that you can hook on his arm, and the uh, the cow that you can take off as well. <coughs> and his staff, I think, is a, um, a tribute to the 200X, I think they're called, figures. Um, which is pretty cool too and he comes with his really nicely done crossbow um, what accessories have I missed? Oh, I think with Shira she comes with a separate head sculpt which um, as per all the other reviews her head was an absolute pain in the ass to swap over and I really did think I was going to snap her in half um, for, a, for a bit there but um, finally managed to get um, her head sitting on there properly. So there are the first nine. Um, so I'm really looking, my mission was to get um, all the main key characters from uh, the first episode. So I'm missing Beastman, Triclops and Teela. Um, and probably Sorceress but her, she's getting up to like $200. And $200 for a six to seven inch figure is, um, I don't think that's a line I want to cross. So, uh, we'll see how we go. Um, I almost got um, Triclops and Beastman and um, the dealer uh, shafted me for a little bit. So, um, I'll have to uh, see how I go with um, some of the ones that I'm looking at now. But, um, if there's anyone else out there who's um, sort of on the fence, uh, get off and get into them now because um, they're awesome. and. I don't know, I can't recommend them enough. Um, if you were into them as a kid, um, these are just a, a step, or oh, a big step beyond those, and uh, really sit nicely up there with my other um, six inch figures. So, I'll uh, definitely try and get um, some, some of the key ones um, and pretty much call it quits on that. I won't be getting the upcoming Castle Grayskull because. Uh, it's getting up to like $300 for that, so um, uh, that's not a must-have for me. Um, but these main characters definitely are. Um, and I'm glad I at least managed to get these ones. So um, uh, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you guys are, are liking the pose-off battles that um, we're posting up on the Cool Collectibles page. Uh, keep sending in your pics in, it's been a lot of fun. Um, just checking uh, the way you guys do all the poses. Um, and uh, thanks for... Um, participating. Um, it's been a lot of fun. So uh, thanks for watching in and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.